Hello, and welcome back to the Companions of Sand. When we last left off, we found Nadanaga. And we were a naughty Nadanaga. Well, we were naughty too, Nadanaga. We are a terrible person. Let's get on the pad, and let's find that ironwood tree, which is luckily not that far away. Let me just double check the, um guide to see if I've got everything. Door ajar, mirror we looked at, mortar we got, pad we got on, pestle we got, stone plaque we saw, switch we dealt with, dungeon. Alright, looks like we are good to go. Let's save here just in case. Now I'm not looking at the guide for everything, but I am keeping it close on hand just in case, you know. Oh, open the jar, duh. Um, moss on the ironwood tree. Empty the contents of the jar into the ironwood tree. Nothing happens at first, but soon hear a sizzling and crackling sound as the massive tree is gradually eaten away by the caustic moss. When it's completely gone, only re res residual slime remains. Eight points. Borrows isn't yours to give. Yes, Doug? What's the problem? It's hot in here. I feel that I'm about to expire. Why don't you put your hair up in a bun? Really? What makes you say that? Because buns are cool. Because I want you to do that right now. Because there's nothing else to do right now. I don't know, I just popped my head. Buns are cool? Are you really sure you want my hair up in a bun? Yes. If you insist, you're really going to owe me for this one, Doug Mundane. Here you go. And we got a bun. Puts her hair up in a bun and hands it to you for safekeeping. It's a hot dog bun. Hmm. That'll probably be useful. Small blue gem merges from within the hilt, the sword, and glows sli uh, slightly. I think we must have moved beyond the region of Earth, Doug. This area feels more like the region of fire. First void, then Earth, now fire. This is really weird. Not really, Doug. That's the order I'd expect to find them in heading south toward the gap. What gap? A gigantic chasm divides northern and southern Zamp. We're on the northern side of this chasm, which we call the gap. Humphrey's castle lies on the southern side of the gap. How many more regions are there before we get to the chasm, Nada? Well, let's see. The next one would be water, and the one after that is air, and I guess that's the last one. I guess that would make sense in a, um, Greek elemental idea. You're walking down a long tubular tunnel. An impressive heat t emanates from the end of the tunnel, distorts your view. Not a hums a melody. World of Fire has a pretty nice beat to it. Um. Let's look at the tunnel end. Reds of an intense heat. Ah. How much you want to bet um, if I tell to go to it? Sam for a bubbling lake of lava. A narrow path leads to the southeast. Not a smooth or gown. Let's look at the pointer rock. Pointer rock is positioned between the path and the molten lake. Wait a minute. Oh, for some reason, I guess we were looking to the... Um, Right there. I guess it makes some sense. Hmm. Let's go this way. A molten dog emerged from the lava lake. Molten man emerged from the lava lake. Uh oh. That would be a fireman. Yep. Let's talk to the fireman. Dog snarls angrily at you as he turned towards the fireman. Step back in fear of the molten hound. Hmm. You're a hot dog, aren't you? 
growls menacingly at you. You know what I do with hot dogs? Well, first I unscrew the small cap and open the mustard jar. I squirt the mustard jar in the bun menacingly. Healthy serving mustard on the bun. The dot ho hot dog, disturbed by your presence in the loaded bun, melts into the lake, yelping in distress. 15 points. I remembered that from when I was a kid, and I thought that was the most awesome thing ever. Uh, smell the bun. Smells like a hot dog bun with some mustard on it. Nice. Let's talk to the fireman. How do you do? It's a pleasure to meet you, laddie. Uh, anything interesting ever happen here? Hey, fire dude, yeah, it's kind of hot in here. Can you direct me to the 36th Street Station? Your words sound strange to me, mundane person. Are you ill? Not quite. I'm just a smart ass. How do you do? Uh, does anything ever happen here? Occasionally. My ancestors have long told the legend of Mac, a fearless traveler like yourself. Trapped once within this cavern. With pyrotechnics and wit, he managed to pass through the wall of fire ahead. Mmm. Uh, where can I find this Mac you mentioned? Mac's been dead for centuries, son. He's only a legend, and I have no way of authenticating it. I was told the story by my grand fire mother when I was a wee fire youth. Hmm. I think I'd like you better as wee fire youth. Uh, how did Mac actually escape the cavern? Some say that Mac hurled an explosive device that actually cracked the firewall, spreading the flames for a moment so he could pass through. Huh, that seems remarkably modern for a uh, game made in like 93, 95 or so. Hmm. Well, let's overwrite number 11 there. Stand before an impenetrable wall of fire. A piece of charcoal lies on the ground. Well, let's grab the charcoal. Take the charred wood. Well... It said something about explosives. Can't think of a good reason to burn cherry bomb in the wall of fire. Oh. Yes, Doug? What do you think we should do what now? you used the coal to make a rubbing of the stone plaque? Yeah, thanks for completely giving away the puzzle, Nada. Think nothing of it. The puzzle would have been much too difficult for you. <sighs> yeah, yeah, hot molten man. It's melting man. Hallelujah, it's melting man. Amen. So we must head back into the land of Earth. So once we get past the um, void, um, you know, we have a much larger map as you can see, but uh, yeah, void kind of restricts us from going back towards the beginning. But that's fine. Thank goodness for this map. Uh, put paper on the plaque. Press the flattened paper against the plaque and punch a small hole in it with the nail. The paper hangs directly in front of the stone plaque. Ten points. Rub paper with charcoal. You carefully rub the coal back and forth against the surface of the brown paper, producing a rubbing of the previously illegible plaque. Let's look at the paper. Max Surefire Cracker Mix, a tasteful blend of flour and fire water baked to a golden brown for your enjoyment. Okay, so we got the flour from the um, butter uh, cup. Fire water baked to a golden brown. Does that mean we have to grab lava? Uh, let's take the paper. Or maybe we have to talk to the fireman to get more information. Let's 
so many secrets. Yep, heat, heat, heat. Boblin. Couldn't the Molten Man just stay standing? It's a nice, um, you know, David position. Well, let's give the paper. Now, why would you be handing this to me, laddie? Uh, because it's about Mac? Well, let's talk to the what fireman. What can I do for you now, sonny? Uh, can you tell anything uh, about the Legend of Mac? Let's see. The sky named Mac found some way apart in the flames of the firewall above us. That's all I know. Okay, well, that's something, I guess. Hmm. Oh, Fireman hands you a strange, small wineskin. Ah, it's fire water. Uh -huh. Oh yes, we are saving. Because we are drinking! It takes a while the hooch and it stings your throats as it goes down. I have a feeling that is not going to go over well. Fireman snatches the fire water away from me. Okay. Talk yes, to Nada. What do you think we should we do now? Some water for our recipe. Do you? Since you've gained access to the region of fire. Yeah. Put that in the mortar. Nice. Pestle with the mortar. Mortar and grind for a bit. Small ball of dough soon forms. Smire and snatch the wine skin back from you. So let's see, was there anything else other than uh, fire water and flour? Nope. Apparently it is a um, useless bread. Unleavened. Carefully place the mortar in the dough inside the oven. It soon glows a hot red. Fireman hands you stained small white skin. Oh, thanks. Hmm. Can I take it? A couple of nearby rocks, you lift the mortar from the natural oven and set it gently on the ground. Nice. What okay, dough? Cracker dough that's waiting to be baked. The fireman snatched the wineskin back. Well, let's knead the dough. I really don't need to do that with the cracker dough. <laughs> nah, I guess I've got to um, wait for a bit longer. Hang on the fire water without it, your hose. The fireman snatches the wineskin back from you. The cracker is turned to bright golden brown. Nice. Ah! Small black steaming lump. Didn't the legend mention something about golden brown, Doug? Yeah, yeah, it did. Well, let's restore. Okay, so now we wait. Dough has risen and take on a glossy yellow. Light golden brown. Take it. Set it gently on the ground. Find some of the dust as it cools. Mid the actions, find a blue firecracker. Ten points. That is an ancient firecracker on Max, son. Be careful what you do with it. Where'd you find it, Sonny? Uh, lying in place where your brain would be if you had one. I'm not telling. I'm sick of being called Sonny. I'm gonna commence some firecracking presently. You may wish to rescind it this time, Sonny. 
Apparently, they're frightened by the sight of Max Cracker. The fireman melts back into the lake. <laughs> uh oh. Menacing arm appears from the lake, and an in index finger points directly at your head. You dirty rat! You made my farming run away. You was better get your sorry butt out of here, or I was gonna shoot you. Hey, where'd you come from? Why are you burning mad? Didn't anyone teach you it isn't polite to point? How many other kinds of fire denizens are there, Arm? Oh, it's a fire arm. Uh, isn't polite to the point? Ain't you ever seen a heater before? Yeah, I have. Hand it over, Arm. I believe the expression is hand over fist, son. I live here, okay? What did you do to my farm? He seemed afraid when he saw this cracker I made. What cracker, kid? Uh, here's some guy named Mac invented it. Oh. I guess even firearms are afraid of, uh, the Mac, uh, firecracker. Let's see here. Light the firecracker fuse on the wall of fire. Three points. And toss in the raging fire. Another two points. Huh. I guess we just wait. Yes, Doug. What do you think we should We're do now? We're trying to crack the firewall, remember? Yeah, the firewall. Crack the firewall. You don't even really need my help. Uh huh. Searing wall of flame prohibits movement. The cracker explodes in a brief but loud explosion, eradicating the firewall. Ten points. Let's head on. Gaping hole in the ceiling lies several feet above your head. Not of smiles. Nice. Well, let's look at this opening. Gaze at the gaping crack opening in the south of the ceiling. Can I enter the opening? Jump towards the opening but can't even get come close. Fall in the path, perilously near the edge. Uh oh. Hey, yes, uh, Doug? Nada? What do you think we should do now? I'm sure there's a way of escaping through that large opening, Doug. I suppose I could just throw this hook out there and climb That's out. That's right, Doug. What a genius you are. Uh-huh. The amount of sarcasm is, uh... Huge. You wind up and throw the hook at the gaping hole. It whistles towards the opening, making contact with the surface and becomes firmly lodged. Five points. Let's pull ourselves out of here. Struggle on the rope, praying that the grappling hook doesn't fall. You feel a few of your precious items falling from your pockets to the lava below. No, but you are persistent and soon safely through the opening. Wow, that took a lot. Small violet gem emerges from the hilt of the sword and glows slightly. Another two points. We've done it. We've escaped the region of fire. This must be the edge of the region of water. Things just keep getting better and better. Are you serious, Doug, or are you just becoming sarcastic? Serious. Sarcastic. Neither. Hungry. Uh, I'm being a little sarcastic. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea. <laughs> you know you can quit the game at any time, or save your position and come back later. This is all true. Um, let's take the hook. Try to wrest the grappling hook from the ground, but are unable to do so. No, not the grappling hook. Well, let's do as uh, Nada said. Um, and we'll just save this as LP12. And when we come back, we will be, um, yeah, uh, continuing on towards the rest of the game. We have completed the void, the region of Earth, 
and the region of fire. Welcome to water. Have a good one.